Okay. And that should be good. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, bye bye Turkey. And welcome to the video. It's been a while. A week, technically I think, or two weeks. The last week. Oh sweet, I don't know what it is. It's been a while since we've done room six. We're gonna do three mo Ooh. Just gave me Dokkabi! Um, okay then. That just happened. Okay, we're gonna play just a little bit of casual. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys do, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And if you guys do enjoy it and you whatever, by all means, please press the like button, like I said. And if you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe. Alright, hopefully this game can load up. It's been a while since I've played Siege, so I'm gonna be rusty as anything. But anywho. I'm gonna be going in to couple get a couple um video couple clips, a few videos for you guys. For this week I'll be uploading some more in the mornings, but be more dedicated on the channel the best I can with the current time I have. By the way, I'm very excited for on the 29th, if any of you guys do not know, and if you guys do know what's coming up on the 29th, it is Kingdom Hearts 3, ladies and gentlemen. What it is, is actually a third person game, not a shooter, but it is, in a way, it is... It's an open world game that you can go on multiple worlds on the, using the Disney Universe and pretty much if you're a Final Fantasy person, there's some assets been used to that. On this time, they did so many elements incorporating every part of different parts of the game, different con conversations, and it basically turning into like a storytelling event, and I absolutely am happy about that because when I play, King I, I play Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, which if you guys remember my Kingdom Hearts 2 videos, which I'll probably have to get back into that for you guys. Um, that one was a great ex series. That was actually a great series. And I'm glad that they've actually making that the Kingdom Hearts series finally being released. And so far there's already been so a couple leaks. Where people could start seeing some actual leak. Now I hate to be a spoiler alert. Which I'm not going to say what I saw. But I'm actually genuinely excited and very surprised. Some of the leaks I've seen. Things that I would never thought have been possible, but leaving a bunch of questions on the air. Now, what am I what is the main key goal here? That you're asking. What have I been up to? What have I been doing? Why have I been active? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I've been helping out my neighbor um deal with some things. And plus, I'm, you know, in a sense, kind of working in a sense, but doing some life stuff, but also working on building my community, HGC, is known as, you guys remember, the Heartless Game community, which, before you ask where we're at now, we are in the 175 place. Officially, we're almost to 180. And because we're in that position, we're increasing our numbers and the amount of people that are actually enjoying themselves because we got male and female players that are just chill as anything and essentially what our main is, area is in our group we're trying to provide a, a nice environment where everyone can be treated as equals instead of being disrespected As some garbage. We treat everyone fair and we like to have fun. I can't see the dude. Yes! Now it. I 
I know, so I'm gonna insist on that side. I don't get as much points, but nonetheless, so far, so far, we're doing good. We got the first round one. We're gonna do two to three rounds. I I don't I forgot what I said. I think three rounds. I said. Well, hope I don't have another internet crash because earlier I was gonna get you guys some Titanfall two, a Titanfall two video made, but unfortunately, the video got completely crashed because of my internet. With all further doubt, well, let's get on straight to the gameplay. As we're going, we got Pulse here. I know he looks. I don't know if you guys got your nicknames for him, but don't let his appearance fool you. He is actually pretty useful. He's mainly used for roaming, and has literally thermal, a heartbeat sensor that can scan through walls. If you don't know what Siege is. Rainbow Six Siege is a first-person shooter for um, tactical combat and securing a small perimeter in your area. There are areas that you can set up for breachers, um, defensers, and traps, and yada yada. If you guys don't know what Siege is. Anywho, there's a scout phase, which you guys noticed there was drones that were just went by my feet. The drones are actually used to scout out and locate objective, but also mark the targets of what there is. There are two variations of the game, actually technically three, but there's the customs, which customs, you there's no custom games. That, I mean, you can make your own style, how you want to make your own rules, whatever. And screw around, that's customs. Um, there, it's a primarily focused as a, as a very competitive game. Because you have casual, which is your starters, because you can't start up the game until you can't start match the uh, the ranked matchmaking. You get placements until rank twenty, which you'll have to do casual or whatever. Unless it's it's either rank ten or twenty, one of the two. Anyway, what you need to do is grind, get your points up. The more points you get, you get a reward system called the ring that, that person just got. Blown the freak out. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Anyway, what Renown is, it's the in-game currency that you can buy. There's also silver things, whatever. Um, and it's also a Ubisoft title, which means if you guys have Ubisoft games, you guys can unlock more Ubisoft points on here. To allow your rewards to be put in. On some of my rewards I have gotten. I put them on attachments of my gun. So. It's pretty much. Pretty simple. Anyway. Now. Um, what's the difference between casual and ranked? Ranked is actually the placement area. Where you guys can start getting yourselves placed. And. There's Diamond, which I believe is the highest, I think, on here. It's either Diamond or Plat, and I forgot which one it was. Okay, there was a marker here. Oh! oh. Okay. I panicked there for a moment. First and reversing is a Twitch. Twitch is basically a... is meant to destroy traps and pretty much be a harassing unit. I thought he was, that person was still right there. Well, he was basically saw my bomb being wasted and I just knocked myself down. <laughs> Alright. 
scene. Okay. We're going to use this character. What he uses is to bomb targets that are defended. Um, I highly recommend not using him in hostage because your fuses can kill him and your team loses instantaneously. There are three modes on here. There is secure the area, which there's a biohazard container. And yes, you heard me correctly, biohazard. Y'all can make a joke, y'all will get the biohazard. And yeah, yeah. But if you guys also realize also, there's also just straight hostage and bomb. But bomb is pretty much you're locating a bomb. And counter terrorists, in a way, like if you guys ever play Counter Strike, it's sort of like that. I'll look at your message later, Holly. Um, essentially, you guys get that if. There are two bombs that you guys can decide, but if you take out one, pretty much it's a game over. There were other modes prior, but it depends on the event. Um, because there are something called operations, which are the seasons in the game. Each season comes with a new operation. My favorite one was Operation Chimera. Because there was like an alien virus that crash landed. And on on terrorist hunt, it seemed to simulate terrorist hunt aspects, but but in reality it really was was pretty much providing an actual uh, zombified alien horde. Essentially. If you guys ever played Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies, that gives you the idea. Ooh, that was a chrome dome to his head. I just witnessed that guy getting, getting killed. That was actually kind of interesting. That guy just got nerfed. Flawless victory. Vitality. I actually got fourth place on that. Not like, too bad. At least I yeah. technically I tied up with last place, so technically we were tied for fourth. Like I said I'm I'm rusty at the game. Too horrible. Really? Not that much. Sweet. Alright. Oh, that looks sick! Look at the things at the bottom thing. I'm actually almost on rank 64 now. Which I think you get rewarded a little bit additional read now. Oh, maybe. I think that's the case. And sometimes you guys can join in in mid game too. Like if you guys ever played Halo 5 Warzone. Um, you can join in the middle of games, but you can't join on your friends. Sometimes you can come across a round that's in round two, three. If you're in the final stages of the game being pretty much ended, it's non-existent. I tend to go for glass on this one, or on plane, because about half the time it'll start loading you guys up in the most 
areas were snipers. Glass is pretty much the is a primary sniper. Because on defense, they're under They've got the only thing that balances them, which I'll give you guys a bit more of an idea. Jokubi is a hacker, which you guys can pretty much bypass your enemies' phones and set up alarms on them. And if you can get their phone as Jokubi, you can hack their cameras. So pretty much you're using the own enemy surveillance system to your advantage. Um, Glass has a sniper that you can customize, with, but he operates with a thermal vision scope. Which means if you see someone with the thermal vision, it almost pretty much makes it like a predator mode. Like you find your prey. Now, um, thermite. Thermite's a, that's a hard breach. What thermite is used for, he set up like thermite legitimate charges on hard walls. Like this, for example. But primarily if they're, it's, it's like structure breaches. Here you can just put normal breaches, but they put like a, a wall, like, I'll have to show you an example, because you might have saw me put like a, some, are they all recruit, it's a recruit, I don't see much recruits, yeah, Cap can get, Cap can there is technically a, is very cheap, because what he does is put like, door, door traps on the walls, like it's like an I an IED lit registered pretty much um an explosion. Xbox stop listening. I don't know why it said why it decided to do that. I wasn't even talking to it. But like I said, it's very unique. The playstyle I'm not gonna lie, there's gonna be hit hit times when you Feel like the, the game feels like it should have been hit. Got one. Come on, teammates. I don't care. I nailed two kills like that. Now, person actually. Okay, yeah, that was a clean one. I'm not gonna get mad over that. Still, two people down on their team. Now, Twitch here, like I said, is a harassing one. She put gets a drone that's customized not just for scout. That idiot teammate just walked in front of her. And just got shotgun. Rip. Yeah. And hopefully this dude can ace. I mean clutch. I mean Ace is getting all five. Just one person just camped up in there. What? Did he... He jumped through a window to get kills. This is a legit... If this was ranked, this would be a lot different because you're dealing with lobbies of people. Just being very dirty. He's trying to get himself a good hole, but he's just on the ground. Oh, it's a really bandit. That actually surprises me. He's right through there. Ooh. What Bandit does, he sets up like a, you guys need like electric fences. If you guys have like a specialized wall that's making custom cover, pretty much what you guys can do, you can set up him to set up, to make the, the things electrify, which causes damage over time. And pretty much limiting about five health each. And essentially killing them if they stay in there too long. Recruits are the most common thing. No one uses them. Um, there was also a thing called Valkyrie. What Valkyrie is, she sets up two separate cameras that can go into 360 degrees like most of the other cameras. However, she's pretty much a fast runner in place 
throw things down quickly. We got a mirror. Mirror pretty much sets up peak holes to basically um have vantage point. And it's like a you know like if you've seen interrogation room or whatever, and it's like okay, I'm walking in. I'm gonna be very, very stealthy because I'm hunting for a rabbit. But I'm in an interrogation room with weird glass that I feel like no one's watching. That's not the case. You see, what she does is facilitate, like, if you set it up like this, for example, she can put it down on this and actually make a peak hole for yourselves to pretty much shoot through. And pretty much as a flank. Now, Vigil, on the other hand, Vigil is a is a mobile jammer. He, which means he can conceal his position just as fast as before. Now, how do you set... Now, is there really jamming devices? Yes, there is. Um, Vigil has, like, a special system pretty much to where he's not seen as much. Pretty much it's hard for him to be seen from a drone perspective, but in first person, you can easily see him clear as day. Because in drones, it's electronic equipment. In fact, the electronic equipment gets jammed mobile only for himself. But it's also, if you know how to use them correctly for shotgun use, it's pretty much solid. Why did I do that? Why, oh, why did I do that? That is... Insanity. This person is actually tryharding in cash. Go, go, go. Push it. Push it. Push it. Yes. Oh my no. Oh my. I'm not getting too salty. Okay, it was just thermite there. It was just absolutely ridiculous. Chair, dude. Alright. Sledger is not a hard breacher, but he can make open up things. Um, Thatcher, he's just a normal common infantry unit, but Thatcher's really easily to use, and I highly recommend it if you guys want to play this. Buck is pretty much like a, is a rifle that you can use for AR, and a shotgun, which you guys can pretty much just nerf the heck out of. And Ash is just a simple breach that can reach and light cover and cause hole and cause a bit more like dust in the area. If you destroy something with explosions, um, you'll get limited cover with from wind and dust. But every player knows this and they'll shoot it immediately if you're rushing their cover. Now, if you're in a well defendable position, such as house, for example, or Sometimes you'll load up down here. You got perfect angles from down here to defend yourselves and here. And keeping basically a spaced out 360 security. And it would appear they are killing each other. Fun times. I should have gotten glass on this. They have an AF. It looks like they have an AFC on their team. Anywho, like a, now back to what I was saying. There's different roles, and they got a lesion. Lesion sets up, like, goo mine traps. Before you ask what the heck does that mean, and before some of you think inappropriately. Goo traps are actually, like, poison darts, essentially. They don't necessarily kill you, but they can if you don't take care of yourself immediately. They get into you, and they do damage over time. What was he even doing there? What the? F no. I got killed by a dude just laying on the ground.
Now, the thing is, if you guys know how to play the game, there's different facilitations. What he just killed there was Doc was essentially the medic. But she gets five revives. Pretty much, if your team is pretty much low, you can use them to heal up your units from a distance instead of going up to them and killing them. Because you get one revive each. But you can use the medic to pretty much help your units constantly. Mute ears are your jammer. Um, allow me to show you an example of what he can do. Mutes are act facilitate in muting charges and muting and jamming explosions. So that way, if someone tries to detonate the explosions, they're not as dead. They can't detonate, except for none. Only ones that are have charges and pretty much a detonator, because essentially, because as you see, there's castle. He's gonna be setting up. Oh, if I'm correct, yes, this would be a perfect time to show this. All right, what we need to do first, set up this. And make sure you have a complete mute. Because you don't want people to realize what you're up to. Alright, I'm going to let Doc get in here first. Once he's in here, get the cob get this set up. And by doing so Yeah, there, there's, those two are going to go wrong, which is a horrible idea. And a Twitch came, almost came through. And you can score renown by destroying the drones too. By doing so, you guys can cut off their their surveillance, which actually limits their access to figure out what you have. In a way, it's like a trump card. You can play it smart, or you can play it dirty. Now, another thing is keeping an eye on your placements and everything. Because like I said, they can put charges such like that. In that. What? I went back and cover on that one. Yeah, and our team is all the way down there because they're being... They are actually going... Now, here's a good one. Cavi. Cavi here can... If she downs enemies, she can interrogate them to look at the positions of all enemy players. In a way, it's like you're getting everyone's positions. Because you're not only seeing your cells, but you're seeing where all the enemy units are running to. Say this, you're in the second floor in the most secluded area and you're well defended. And you don't know what they are. Cavi here facilitates an interrogation and getting the information. If she gets a hold of you, if you're down, she gets. she's the only one with an assassination perk and will stab you in the throat and pretty much will interrogate you to demand positioning. Which is instantaneously, positions will be rewarded for that. And I believe you get double renown if you assassinate with her. Now... As you see, we got these three people still alive. And um, possibly two. We have possibly AFCs just camping. Or they're trying to facilitate an actual plan. Since I have my youth set up in the doors, they can't see. So it's the windows they have to worry about. Yeah, they, there wasn't it. it Castle's going for that. Okay, now I see what they're up to. By the looks of things, it would appear they have an IQ. What IQ is she scans the area for electronic devices. In a way, if you set like a C4 charge, she can locate that I pretty much address the situation in a way like you're almost already knowing what the kind of the main threat is. A technological advance. Now another problem is with IQ. Just going it's IQ 
castle. No. He's going to sit there. I understand if you can push in, but what he should have done was actually just be in there so that way it forced the dude to come out. Now it's in round five, which is now. Anyone can try to win on this, and it's basically instant win and instant loss. No comeback can happen. It's basically it's a win or lose situation right here. So, what we're going to go with, I'm going to go for Lion. What Lion is, all right, they pretty much got the same team. What Lion is, he's a scanner style. It's like you're, hunt, you're looking for the movement of the players. You get two rounds with Lion, and you can see the variety of weapons, and you can do custom coloring, and cut your own ultimate customizations and your loadout. Lion pretty much can scan targets if they're moving, but you gotta know when to do it too. Say this, if there's a mute jammer, it could protect you, but I'm not 100% that's fully correct because I've done that in the past and it never worked exactly. Um, my, my timing, but okay. This is a perfect example right now. Now, Basement is the easily defended. Ella sets up traps, which can blind you. And Frost there is set. Yeah, Frost is setting up Frost traps, so we can't breach the, the upper levels. We got two intelligence of what they have. We know that they're in the basement, which gives us two ideas what could be in the bottom. It could be anything ranging from the most overpowered one to the most garbage. That could be used. Such as which? A TK or. What TK means is team killing on this game. And I'll, there, at one point in every casual match, you'll probably find one of these individuals. They're completely toxic, and they'll just say, Screw you guys, I'm going to pull in Eric Cartman, and I'm going to shoot you. And then I'm going to rush and run it my way. When they pull that kind of move, it's pretty much like they screw your whole team over, essentially. But, and that's what Frost mats do. They're actually bear traps that get you guys. And you can't get them off until your teammates revive you. And unfortunately, my teammate reviving me. Now they are. Yeah, you can see what what a frost mat does. It takes out half your health. Which I did not realize they were gonna pull that move on me. Now there is a cooldown for EE one D, which is the the scanner. Alright, we just won that. Alright, well, we're gonna do one more match for you guys. And, like I said, if you guys do enjoy the commentary and the explanation, please, by all means, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm trying to explain a bit more about some of the characters. I have them, but if I see them, I'll give you examples. Yes, I can. I still don't know what the other one before that recruit killed the other dude. Right, we're gonna do one more game for you guys. My word, I mean, I. I'm used to saying weird because um, kill dangerous and all that. And by the way, be much. If you guys know who kill dangerous is, he's a good buddy of mine, along with the scene that's in the cheated gaming in heart. I mean, heartsy gaming, but. Heart recently changed your gamer tag to the gaming librarian. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. I think she'll probably see the video and put a comment. I highly recommend their three channels. You know, Kill doesn't have quality content. I mean, not quality, but he does have videos. Um, one of which is a really old video. One of my discussion with a very cringy person. We got very salty. 
of me just being very sarcastic and just very annoying. I pretty much controlled this dude and he got very all triggered. It was hilarious. Now, um, enough of the story time. We're gonna do one last match and what are we playing? Oh, we're doing this one. Alright. The map we're gonna be using as if any of you guys have ever seen Sons of Anarchy, we're basically going to a motorcycle club. And a lot of you guys are already speculating. Are we gonna be seeing something that we shouldn't be? Um Not really. Alright, here's some good ones to show you. Jaeger, what he does is facilitate a anti ED. What he does I mean IED. What that means is pretty much he can stop nades from or even smoke nades coming in. He sets up specialized drones on the ground or on walls to make sure that they can cover the line in key areas just to annoy people. So if someone throws a flashbang, the flashbang does not detonate, nor does a grenade or any other heavy explosion. The best way to deal with that is with a, because with Thatcher, you can throw an e electromagnetic pulse in a certain area. What smoke does, and if you guys notice in the little top left, Smoke is actually a whole different level. You see, Smoke, what he does is he facilitates a much more trap card. To be a Smoke, you must use a prime, must go for kind of like a sort of prime uh, shotgun for a lot of reasons. What prime shotguns are is pretty much you get a shotgun, you shoot. Simple as that. But it's a lot more case, because you see what Smoke does, he has toxic gas that can kill you, legitimately, and quite fast, if you're not quick. It's like a small detonation that does not explode, but it's like a very lethal, lethal okay, why didn't he put barbed wire there? That would make perfect sense. Alright, now anywho. But my as this character I am, it's Maestro. He sets up like sort of like cameras, but the thing is they have a like twitch. He can shoot you with electric electricity. Like kinda like blaster rounds. I'll show you an example. As you see, you open up this and you get a loadout. And to pay attention to cameras, it's going left, right. Up, down, whatever. They can't go three behind and look around. They can only aim, that's what's in front of them. But they're good to scan out the targets too. I have only killed one person with it at one point. Actually, three people at one point actually. And in two separate games. Ooh, oof. Yeah, wrecked. And I keep paying attention to this side. I don't know if they have any hard breachers. They might come down this way, which is the most common way. Players. This one's can barely used, but sometimes it happens. Yeah, Pete, they see it. And I got a couple wounds. Some of them wounded. They're gonna try to peek. Yeah, they killed out. Killed them. What I need to do now, I'm gonna open this. Now we're going to provide security on this flank. Actually, not really now. They got a Habana. Habana sets up like a special breach, breach thing that pretty much can anyone can use. Get through heavy cover. 
like getting a crawling distance, but also it's good distance to move inside. Yeah, and I just got freaking murked by that fuck. Oh, he's got the Operation Chimera. Um, attack armor. Right. Dode Far is a 2v3. And he's down. Jaeger is the only one left. This tells you that they're either a comp team, or they actually have good communication with their team. Now, the key thing is pre-fire. If you don't have a good pre-fire on this game, on some case, pre-fire can pretty much pre-fire can be your best friend or your worst annoyance. Yeah, and some ground, even though you can't break through it, you can actually get holes in lineups, and you guys can play very dirty, which that tells me that guy's a sledge. And if we can hold out for two seconds, we pretty much win this match. Now, essentially, it doesn't matter who, how many players you have left. If you're still holding the objective by the end of the time, if you are still the team, unless there's someone that's in there that's contesting it, 